Welcome. I pray you're all safe and sound on today. I have a message for you. I have a message for you. It's midweek. There have been a lot of things taking place. Physically and spiritually. But I want to deal with the physical aspects of what has been going on. So this message is going to be a deep message that the Lord has been dealing with me about. And I am ready to relay it to you. Let's pray. Father God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy, Lord God, just saying thank you, O Lord, for everything you're doing in, through, and around our lives, Lord God. <laughs> Lord, you are worthy of all honor, of all praise, and of all glory. Lord, I keep none to myself, O Lord. I trust you. I believe you. You deserve all the praise. Father God, I ask right now, Lord God, that you will go into homes, hearts, and minds. Cleanse them, Lord God. Renew the right spirit within them, O oh Lord. Call it done in Jesus' name. Father God, I submit myself to you. Use me. And it's in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. So, the message is why God requires we operate in truth. No more surface level religion. We have 2 Corinthians 4, 2. But we have turned away from secret and shameful ways. We use no trickery. And we do not change the teaching of God. We teach the truth plainly. This is how we show everyone who we are. And this is how they know, they can know in their hearts, what kind of people we are before God. God requires we operate in truth because it's the only way that we can be liberated. Liberated set free in any and every type of bondage in any and every type of bondage are you getting it in any and every type of bondage whether you a new Babe in Christ, or you are a seasoned Christian, pastor, whatever you are, wherever you are in your walk. God requires the truth to set you free and to keep you free. Always remember that. If you don't remember anything else, remember the truth comes to liberate. Okay? It comes to liberate, to set you free, and to break every chain in Jesus' name.
No more trickery. Teaching the truth plainly. God desires you in your nakedness, period. Whether you are going through a divorce, whether you have just lost your home, whatever it is, he wants to deal with you in your nakedness, in your truthfulness. To be able to restore you to wholeness. Putting you back together again, but better in Jesus' name. That is why truth is required. It is required. It is a standard for God from God to us to build us to shape us to mold us and therefore to reveal our true character okay the people that he has called us to be period and you will know in your heart of hearts when people speak the truth to you you will be able to distinguish that because you speak truth as long as you are speaking truth you will be able to distinguish it for yourself you will be able to tell the difference Devil is alive. Back up. I'm getting this message out here. Yeah, see, the enemy doesn't want you to know your breakthrough is through truth. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Okay? Shame him. Because he don't have dominion over you unless you give it to him. Okay, remember that if you want to be free, if you want to be liberated, the way out is in truth and through truth. That is why God requires we operate in truth. What a word. This is a word for somebody. I pray you'll get this message. Well, more so, I pray that you're liberated in your truth, that you'll stand in your truth because it is the one thing that can set you free and that can keep you free. No more bondage. No more hiding out because you said something about somebody. All right? And then now here they come walking around the corner. Stop it. No more hiding. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Okay? Set yourself free. Liberate yourself through truth. Let the truth reign over your life. No matter where you are. No matter what you're struggling with. No matter what you've been through. Let the truth reign. And be liberated. I pray this message blesses you. But I pray it meets you right where you are. In Jesus name. Know that Father God loves you. So do I. See you soon. Sending you love, light, and healing energy. Till we see each other again. Be blessed.